Hi, and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at a beer that's not Japanese, but that uh, uh, I, I discovered recently um, here, and it does have a connection to Japan, as we'll see in a minute here. Uh, the beer in question is this one. It's called Dreher, and actually Bira Dreher, uh, they call it on uh, untapped. Um, there are many varieties of this beer, uh, many different labels and uh, alcohol uh, percentages and so forth. Uh, this one is uh, brewed by Heineken Italia. Uh, it's 25 international bittering units and 4.7% uh, alcohol. Um, apparently, Dreher was a, uh, is, I assume still is, a Hungarian brewer. And, uh, and it was... Uh, uh, part of South African brewers from 1993 and then uh, merged South African brewers, SAB, uh, Miller, South African brewers and Miller joined together from 2007. And then it was sold to Asahi in a very complex sort of deal. Uh, apparently SAB Miller had to, was ordered to divest themselves of certain breweries. Uh, they were getting kind of big and uh, this was sold to Asahi, the Japanese conglomerate, in 2016, and so hence the Japanese connection, uh, and we get it here in Japan. Uh, so made in Italy, uh, it says by Heineken Italia, I kind of suspect maybe it's made by uh, at Peroni, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, Peroni was part of SAB Miller as well. Um, so uh, Asahi kind of made inroads into uh, Eastern Europe uh, uh, a few years back, and uh, they're looking for growth outside of Japan, and uh, they kind of found it there in, uh, in uh, Eastern Europe. And so, shall we give this one a go? It's a pale lager. Uh, I don't have very high expectations for it, but let's give it a go. Uh, since 1773, possible. I like the little waiter on the top there carrying all the smugs on his head. <coughs> Okay. All right, it is completely clear, uh, kind of medium gold with a half a finger of sort of fluffy, kind of frothy white foam. Minimal, minimal carbonation rising. Okay, the aroma. Let's see the date on here, if we have a date. Okay, April 2022. Hmm. So, it's got a little, it smells a little bit old. Uh, I get something like Zotz hops, uh, or perhaps uh, another noble hop like uh, Hallertau, perhaps. Uh, but a little stinky and uh, kind of, uh, how to put it politely, restroom-ish. Uh, yeah, and some mild alcohol fumes coming up as well. Not an auspicious beginning. Oh my, yeah, cardboard right away. Very thin maltiness, very light bitterness, uh, very unpleasant overall. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this was handled well or stored well. Uh, in the place I bought it, it was not chilled. It was not stored in a, in a chilled area at all. So it's not in, it's not too old, but uh, maybe just not held in great condition, or maybe this is the way this beer tastes normally. Um, many uh, Euro lagers uh, and uh, Asian export lagers have a very strong similarity, uh, weak maltiness, uh, almost n almost nil in terms of hops, uh, and a kind of light cardboardy uh, sort of character as well. Mm. 
cannot recommend this one. Uh, once again, it's called Dre Hair uh, Pale Lager, and this is actually uh, on Untapped. You'll find it under Bira Dre Hair. Uh, rate beer, there are 2, 200 ratings, 2.02 out of 5, 2 percentile for all beers on rate beer, and 13 percentile for its style pale lager, 13 out of 100. That's pretty bad. Uh, untapped uh, Asbira Dre Hair, uh, 9,944 uh, ratings, and the average is 2.75, quite a bit higher, but still not very, very high. Okay, I don't recommend that beer. Uh, let's move on to something better next time. Uh, hope you're doing well, and please do subscribe to the channel and and uh, leave me a comment. Okay, let's talk about beer. All right, bye bye.